Okay, so it's Monday, Mobility Monday. It's our last Monday for the year, but we're only missing about two Mondays, so it's okay. We'll survive. Let's get going. Rolling the shoulders. Breathing out. We are going to use our foam roller today. If you have it close by, I'll give you a chance to get it later. Taking the arms out to the side. And let's loosen off those rotator cuff muscles. That's it. Breathing out. And then big circles with those arms. Bring the arms forward. That's it. Nice big shoulder circles. Making sure nothing's sore or pinching. That's it. Beautiful. All right. Staying standing. We're going to go for our sort of butterfly. We're going to breathe out. Curl and round the back. And then opening up, looking up at the ceiling, extending. That's it. And again, let's go for five. Make it nice and flowing, rounding the back, pulling the tummy in, and extending. Nice. Two more. Rounding and opening. Last one. Beautiful. Let's go into our cactus, taking a nice breath in, arms up and breathing out. Squeezing those elbows into your waist, spread those fingers. Breathing in, arms up and breathing out as you stretch. Reach for the wall in front of you, pull that tummy in. If you're struggling with your hamstrings, bend your knees and folding down. And curling up from the pelvis, one vertebra at a time, stacking those vertebrae one on top of the other. Shoulders down and back and head comes up last. Let's go for two more. Breathing in and out. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. Breathing in, arms up. And breathing out as you stretch, tummy pull them, reaching forward and folding down and curling up on a breath out let your head hang your arms hang shoulders down and back and opening up good let's go for one more breathing in and out very nice breathing in arms up and breathing out as you stretch that's it and folding down from here grab your elbows with your hands so you've got a little clasp and you're going to swing side to side try and straighten your knees so you get a beautiful stretch in those hammies and from here let's walk it out into a plank shoulders directly over your hands tummy pulled in and let's hold it for 10, 9, 8. Beautiful. Tummy in away from floor, shoulders down and back. And dropping the knees onto the floor. Have your feet together. Open up the knees. And take yourself back into a child's pose. Really push those hands into the floor. That's it. Dropping it down. Relaxing that head very nice now from here coming forward onto the knees drop those hips down towards the floor you're going to extend the back looking up like the cobra if you feel this in your back you can keep your hips up a little bit slide those shoulders down and back and then pushing back into that child's pose breathing out let's go for four more as you come forward and drop the hips, make sure you don't round your shoulders. Slide those shoulders down and back. So you can think of lifting the chest. We're not sinking into those shoulders and pushing back. Always think of pushing the floor away. Let's go for two more. That's it. So you've got strong, quite a nice strong hold from your shoulders. And back. And last one. Beautiful. That's it. All right, coming up onto the knees. Let's put that left leg in front. Knee over the ankle, hands on the floor, sliding that back leg back so you stretch your hip flexor. 
And we're going to rotate those hips side to side. Think of wagging your tail like a dog. That's it. Breathing out. Nice. Now from here, taking the hips back, straightening that front knee. Dig your heel in. Make sure you really get that knee straight. And coming forward. Lift your chest. Good. Let's go five times. Digging that heel in and coming forward. Breathing out. That's it. Awesome. Two more. Stretching. Really dig that heel in and uh, stretch your bone back. Nice. Now from here, hold it here. We're going to take this arm around to your back leg. Now if you can, you're going to reach for that foot at the back. If your knee hurts, you're welcome to do this quad stretch standing up. So what you can do from here is just come up into standing and reach for that foot. Or put a cushion under the knee. I know it can be uncomfortable, but if you're right doing it like this, that's beautiful. And make sure you drop those hips down. Nice. Releasing that foot. Let's change sides. Right leg, knee of ankle, hands on the floor, sliding that back leg back. And let's rotate those hips. Beautiful. Really dropping those hips down. Make sure you feel the stretch in that back leg too. And let's take the bottom back for five times. Digging that heel in, straightening that front knee. And forward. Breathing out, stretch. That's it. And forward, lift the chest, drop those hips. Three more. Perfect. Two. Last one. And coming forward. Good, now from here, taking that arm closest to the front leg all the way around. If you want to stand up and stretch your other quad, you can. If you can grab your foot and make sure you drop those hips so you're stretching the quad all the way. Nice. And letting it go. Very nice. Coming onto your hands and knees. You're going to put the hands on the floor. And we're going to stretch those shoulders. You're going to drop a shoulder down to the floor. And coming up. And alternate sides. <sighs> Breathing out. Stretching that shoulder. That's it. Let's go for five. Side to side. Four. Three. Very nice. Two. And one, perfect. Let's grab your foam roller. We're gonna lie it on the floor, we're gonna sit on the one end. Rolling all the way back. I'm not gonna do my favorite exercise on the roller today. You'll all be pleased to hear. I'll leave it alone. Okay. So from here, let's stretch out the chest. You're gonna have your arms by your side palms facing upwards and just for 30 seconds we're just going to lie here letting that chest open up I don't want you to think about holding anything you're just completely relaxing have your feet hip distance apart you're not trying to scoop in your abs or anything at the moment you're just lying here very nice all right let's go for another 10 seconds just letting that chest open up. It's the opposite movement of everything we do during the day. Nice. Now from here, tilt that tailbone towards the ceiling. Squash your low back. Pull your tummy in. And we're going to go for our snow angels. The reason I'm getting you connecting your abs with this is that then you get much more of a middle back thoracic movement with this. That's it. So we're doing our snow angels. Very good. Tummy pulled in, low back glued to the floor. That's it. Let's go for four more. 
try not to let your back arch. If you can, keep your hands on the floor the whole time. Beautiful. Good job. Two more. That's excellent. Last one. Bringing those arms up towards the ceiling. Have your palms facing each other. Keep that tailbone connected, tummy pulled in back, glued to the floor. And we're going to lift up one foot and down. Alternate sides. Make sure you breathe out as you lift that leg. Tummy pulled in. That's it. Four. We're going for ten. Five. Tuck that chin in as well. If you feel like your head is too far back, you can always put a towel or something under your head. Nice, let's go for three more. Tummy in. Two, slide the shoulders down and back. Last one. Taking the hands down to the floor, pop them on the floor, lift your legs up. Reconnect that tilt. Very nice. Now from here, we're gonna go into our leg swaps. Breathing out. Nice, guys. Tummy pulled in. So, as we're doing this now, my laptop charger has broken again. And I see my screen has just gone dark. It looked like I had enough. So, if you lose me, I will find you again on my phone. Do not panic. But I'm just explaining. It's just that time of year, guys. We're going to roll with it. Go for one more. Tilt that tailbone. Now let's stretch out the legs. Single leg stretch. Breathing out. Nice. Tummy pull then. Keep that low back glued to the floor. Let's go for five. Four. Beautiful. Three. Two. One. And placing those feet down on the floor. Very nice. We're going to do a sit-up or a crunch on the roller while we're here. So, two options. You're either going to tuck your chin and tummy pulled in, coming up all the way and curling down. Otherwise, hands behind your head and you're going to crunch. You're trying to bring your hip, your shoulders towards your hips. Tummy pulled in. If you're crunching, keep going while we do our full sit-ups for 10. Breathing out. Let's go. All the way. Tummy engage. That's it. Very nice. Everyone's crunching. I'll crunch with you. Four, five. Four. Keep that belly button pulled in. Three. That's beautiful. Tummy pulled in. Two. Really crunch. Last one. Beautiful. All right. Coming off the roller, we're still going to use the roller. We're going to put it now sort of uh, sideways, the opposite way, so it's kind of going like this. And we're just going to put this under your low back, because often people don't know how to roll out the low back, and you can't do it like traditionally, but from here, if you perch on the roller and then lie back, so your shoulders and your head are on the floor, lift your feet up and kind of adjust the roller to where you want it. Now from here, you just roll your knees towards your chest and back, and it should just feel really nice. You can adjust it where you need. Take your knees side to side. Roll the knees to your chest. It just feel, it should feel nice. If you need to take it a little bit lower, so rather than rolling, moving the roller, we actually move our body on the roller. You can hold it with your hands. That's it. Tucking those knees in, taking the knees side to side. Very nice. Alrighty. Coming onto the mat. We're going to lie on your stomach. We're going to initially work our shoulder blades. So lie on your tummy. Have your arms out to the side. Pull those shoulders down and back. And we're going to lift the arms off the floor. So from the back, shoulders down, we're going to go squeezing the shoulder blades together. You want to think of tilting that tailbone into the floor so you're not arching your back. We're going to go for 10 like that. 
Then we're gonna rotate the thumbs to the ceiling and then go for 10. Try and be aware when you lift your arms up, try not to let your arms come down. The temptation is for them to come here. You want them to be in line with your shoulders, but pull the shoulder blades down. Okay, so let's lie on your stomach. Have your feet apart, forehead on the mat, arms out to the side. Tilt that tailbone into the floor, squeeze your bottom and let's go. Breathing out for 10. Make sure you think of squeezing those shoulder blades together. Tummy pull in. For five, don't take the arms down. Four, three, tummy pull in. Two, one, perfect. Now rotate your thumbs to the ceilings and do the same movement. Tummy in, squeeze. Two, three. You wanna really focus on squeezing those shoulder blades together. Four, five, that's it. Breathing out. Perfect. One more. Very nice. Right, staying down on your back, on your stomach. You're gonna, you can watch me first. We're gonna lie on your back. Imagine I'm on my stomach. We're gonna take that leg across, tap it on the floor and back. Alternating sides. You wanna really think of opening up that hip as much as you can when you take it over. So try not to keep your knees together and just do that. You want to stretch it. Okay, your arms can be here or, by, or out to the side. So coming onto the tummy and we mobilize, taking it back. Really open up those hips. Alternating sides, that's it. <sighs> Breathing out. Lift that foot up, perfect. We've got four more. Nice. Two more. Very good. From here, coming onto your side. You're going to bend your knees up in front of you, coming lying on your side. We're going to do both sides, so whichever one's more convenient to start. Have your arms down in front of you. If you have something to put under your head, you can. You want to keep your knees facing forward and we're going to open up those shoulders to the ceiling. And then coming back. Let's go for five. Breathing out. That's it. Try to keep those knees together. Perfect. One more. Very nice. Right, we're going to stay on our side. While we're here, we're going to do one little butt exercise because I feel like we just should. So knees together, lift the feet. We're going to go into our clam stinger. So we're going to open, extend, toes. We're going to go for 10, tummy pull them. That's it. So we're stretching that leg out. Strong quads, beautiful. Four. Tummy pulled in towards your spine. Five, keep those hips facing forward. Nice, six, breathing out. Seven, let's hope my laptop lasts. Eight, nice work. Two more. And last one, open, squeeze. That's it, very nice. Coming on to your other side. So it is rolling over, knees up in front of you, arms out in, in front, and legs open, shoulders to the ceiling, and back. Breathing out, tummy pulled in. So obviously I only noticed that my laptop charger was broken two minutes before class, and I'm going to have to go and buy one now, <laughs> again. I must have bought four this year. Oh well, nothing to do with Lulu this time. I don't know what happened. Let's go for one more. Opening up and back. Very nice, staying on the side. Lift up the feet, pull that belly button in. Let's go for our clam stinger. Beautiful, we're going for 10. 
Make sure the hips stay facing forward, straighten that leg, really pull up that quad. Three, that's perfect. Four, five, nice work. If we can do another 10, 15 minutes before it all dies down, then we've got a good 30, 35 minute class. Let's see how we go. Nice work, two more, stretch. Last one. Perfect job. All right, coming onto your back. Right, from here, have your feet nice and wide like your mat. Keep your knees bent. And we're going to roll the knees side to side. Arms can be out to the side. Have your palms facing up. Breathing out as you roll those knees side to side. That's it, let's go for three more. Two, one, perfect job. From here, let's take your right ankle, cross it onto your left knee. We're gonna do our figure of four stretch, pulling that leg in towards you. If you need to, you can cross your hands over. Really feel that stretch in your right butt cheek. That's it, beautiful. Right, from here, keeping that left leg bent at 90 degrees, ankle crossed over, tummy pulled in, you're gonna tap that leg down and up. You can put your hands under your head, pull your belly button in. That's it, oh no. Guys, we're gonna die, I'm gonna do this, then the other side. And we go, I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. I think my laptop is just about to die. I'm so sorry. This is just typical for this year. Nice work. Let's go for three more. Two. Tell me pulled in. One. Perfect job. Let's change sides. Take your left ankle onto your right knee. Pulling it in towards you. That's it. If you're not feeling enough of a stretch, pull those knees over, cross your arms over your knees. Breathing out, that's it. Use that breath to get a little bit more range. Right, from here, knee at 90 degrees on the right side, hands under your head, pull that belly button in. Let's tap that leg down, hinging just from the hip. You don't want to bend your knee more, but you've really got to focus on keeping that back glued to the floor. Tummy pulled in. Let's go for five. Four. Breathing out as you lift. Keep those abs engaged. One. Very nice. Pulling that right knee into your chest. Stretching that left leg out to the uh, straight along the floor. You're going to pull that right knee out, opening it. So not pulling it across. We're opening it away from the midline. Stretching out those hips. Try not to let your whole body roll with you. You want to keep those hips facing the ceiling. Beautiful. And now pulling that knee in and take change hands. Take it across. Stretching out your low back. And breathing out, that's it. You wanna to aim to get that knee on the floor and both shoulders on the floor. Beautiful, bringing that back in, hug your knees into your chest, rock side to side. And now we're gonna change legs. Holding your left knee, stretching that right leg out. Nice. And pulling that knee out away from the midline, opening up those hips. You want to try and keep your hips facing the ceiling, that's it. And bringing that knee in, change hands, pulling it across. Stretching out your back. Turn your opposite palm up towards the ceiling. Aim to keep your shoulders flat. And you want to get that knee down towards the ground. Breathe out. Use that breath to get a little bit more range. 
Very nice. Now bring your knees into your chest. Hold each knee in a hand. I'm going to turn this way. From here, pull those knees out. Now you can either support your knees with your hands here or just give a little support. We're going to open those legs, stretch them open and close for five, four, that's it, three, stretching those legs out, two, one, very nice, lowering those feet down onto the floor, okay, let's go into our roll like a ball, so coming up into sitting, you're going to hold your feet off the floor. We're really using this for your stomach. So this helps massage your spine, but it's also a stomach exercise. Try and hold nice and gently here. Make a ball. Look at your belly button. Roll to your shoulder blades and coming up. Breathing out. So try and think of using your abs. Nice. Don't go all the way back to your head, just to your shoulder blades. Let's go for one more. Now, if you can from here, you're going to straighten out the legs. Hold behind the calves. And balance. This is called the rocker. If you want to stay rolling like a ball, you can. And you've got to use those abs to hold it. One more. Very nice. All right. Coming into a plank. Guys, if I lose you, I'm going to carry on teaching on the class, but you're going to do the other side. Coming into a plank. Hands directly under your shoulders. Tummy pulled in. You're going to step that right leg forward. Try and get your foot next to your hand. If you need to drop that back knee down to the floor, you can. Otherwise, keep it up. And let's rotate that arm all the way around and all the way back. We're going to step back into a plank, change sides. Remember, drop the knee if you need. Breathing out. We're going for four each side. That's it. And change. Nice work. Follow your hand with your head, shoulders down and back. Set that plank in between each one. We got two more each side. Beautiful. And step, rotate. One more each side. Breathing out. Last one. Very nice. Let's come into sitting cross-legged facing me. If you get a sore knee with this, like I do occasionally on my, well, eventually on the left, I'm going to stretch it out. You can sit with your legs out stretched if you want, have one bend. The full position is sitting cross-legged, but like I'm going to straighten this leg out. Right. Take your right hand to the floor. If you can, drop that elbow down, but keep those hips down. So you want to push that elbow in so your opposite hip stays down. And reach that arm over. Breathing out as you stretch. Good. Now breathe in. Take the arm around. Breathing out up and over. Let's go for two more. Lovely. Keep pushing yourself so that you're not lifting that hip. Last one. And coming up, let's change sides. Left hand on the floor. Drop that elbow down. Push that elbow into the floor, pushing yourself back. Stretch. Breathing out. Feel this lovely stretch on your side. And breathing in, arm around, and out. That's it. Three more, breathing out as you reach. Two. Last one. And coming up, very nice. Arms out straight, 
Oh, okay, arms out straight. I'm gonna send this through. You're gonna rotate. And other side. Think of twisting up, breathing out. That's it. One more each side. That's it, very nice guys. That was a great 30 minute mobility. I'm so sorry you missed that last one. I'm gonna try and find you online now, okay?